about now. And I want the world to know just why the moon's aglow, why stars are winking up above. I'm in love. I have something to sing about now. My heart is so full of song, just couldn't hold it long. I want to break a bit of love. I'm in love. I never knew, you never knew why, why the robin fed hours. Her singing sweet little did it and did it to the flowers. I thought he sang just because it was spring. But now I know it was love, for I have felt the same thing. I thought they could sing about now. vocalist with Terry Rooney and his orchestra. And now it's time to say goodbye to our old friend Terry. In a few hours, Terry will be on his way to Hollywood to make a picture. Good luck, Terry, and success to you as a movie star. <laughs> What's use of my sticking around here when he won't give you a night off? <laughs> oh, I'm glad to see you both. But I'll be back. <laughs> Goodbye, Terry, and all kinds of good luck to you. Goodbye, Joe. Oh, good luck. Good Thanks night. so much. Goodbye. Up the air, Max? Yep. It's all yours, Terry. Thanks, friends, for a wonderful send-off. As you probably know, Hollywood calls. And I'm about to trade close-ups with Montgomery and Taylor and uh, that other big good-looking fellow, oh, you know who I mean, uh, Gable. And uh, may the best pro field win. <laughs> and now by way of saying goodbye. Hit it, you cat! <laughs>
Come on, wrap yourselves around some of this champagne. Champagne? Woo! What is all this? One last thing before I go, boy. One last... Ah! Success, success, success. I thought we get all our goodbyes done here. Boy, this is goodbye in anybody's language. We'll call it our Beatles name. Now, look. I don't want anybody to come to the train with me. Oh, now, wait a minute, no, Terry. Oh, no, no. I get embarrassed standing around saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for a half hour. Makes me self-conscious. Anyway, I'll be back in a couple of weeks. I don't know. If they get you out there in Hollywood, make one of those movie heroes out of you. You mean I'm a cinch? You can't miss? I ain't kidding. You wouldn't toy with me? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'll be back. I mean, while you're all set, I've seen to that. Anyway, I'm leaving Rita with you. Where is he? Rita! Hey, Rita! I'll Rita! Follow, will you? Hey, Rita. Rita, Terry wants to see you. Come on, Canary, get your nose wet. And uh, you don't think I'm gonna leave my baby for long, do you? Yeah, sweet, all for you. So now, I'll feed the boy. Good night, all. Good night. Hello. Here we go. Hi, I've got a job for you. Yeah? Yeah, dig out the wedding march of Lohengrin. Wedding march? Still a good tune. We'll give it a shot in the arm. You make a nice arrangement, something sweet and hot. Well, what do you want to do with that old tomato? Come on, Jake, what do you need, a blueprint? Oh, I know what you mean. You, you mean something like this. <laughs> That must be Rooney. Come on, kid. Terry Rooney? Yeah. I'm Hank Myers, publicity department, Game Studio. Studio. Glad to meet you. How are you, Terry? Come on, kid. Okay. This is Jan, Joe, Eleanor, Hello. and Dora. Hello. How are you doing? All right, out of the coach, kid. Come on, we got work to do. Let's get straight up. That's better. The shoot from right down there, Eddie. There you go, girls. Line it up. Give me that smile now. Hold it. That's good. Next. Hold that. That's good. Next. That's one. Hold that now. Good. There we are. That's enough, kid. There you are. Into the coach. I'm sorry. All right, cars are outside. Okay, Terry. Car for you, too. Come on. Hi, sis. How do you do? How do you do? Morning, honey. How do you do? Name's Rooney. Mr. Regan. Oh, Mr. Regan. Yes. Mr. Regan, Mr. Hank and Mr. Rooney are here. Let's go right in. Thank you very much. Thank you. How do you do, Mr. Regan? No, 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 that's not Regan. That's his secretary, Eddie Burns. Well, hello anyway. Hi, Mr. Burns. How are you? Mr. Regan is expecting you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, B.O. Here's your new leading man for any old love. Name's Terry Rooney. 
Hi, Mr. Regan. I'm very happy to be here. Hmm. Oh, so you're happy to be here, are you? You're happy to be here. Of course you are. Hollywood is the natural goal of any actor's ambition. Oh, you're wrong, Dio. He's not an actor. He's a hoofer. Hollywood is the natural goal of any hoofer. And Bennett O'Regan will try to make you an actor. Thanks, Mr. Regan. Thanks very much. Come over here. Yes, Mr. Regan. Come over here at once. Come to my office immediately. Uh, in Hollywood, Mr. Uh, uh, Rooney. Rooney. Yes, thank you. In Hollywood, Mr. Rooney, we create. We create not only pictures, but actors and actresses as well. We create and, uh, and mold them. We even try to mold hoofers. You'll find that out, Rooney. Uh, please, please, uh, don't turn away. I, I'm speaking. Arms yourself. The hair, you always comb it that way? I, uh, yes, yes, I do, but uh, I can change it if it's important. Important? Im important. Here they are, grief, trouble, and worry. Gentlemen, yes, Mr. Yes, Mr. this is Mr. Terry Rooney, who is to play the male lead in any old love. Mr. Easton of the makeup department. Hey, gracious, it belongs on an entirely different face, Mr. Regan. Well, fix it. Hmm. So easily said. Mr. Daviani, our wardrobe expert. The clothes. Gentlemen don't wear clothes like that. Uh, of course, of course. Uh, that's why I brought you in here. Mr. Farney, our dialogue director. Speak to me. Why, well, it's, uh, it's rather hard to think of anything to say. Would you mind to repeat this once more? I said it was rather hard to think of anything to say. Once more, please. I just said it was rather hard to think of anything to say. Thank you. Impossible. The addiction goes arch. It will take months. And the voice is not in the mask. I place him in your hands. Gentlemen? Yes, yes Mr. Regan. Regan. You have work to do. I want to shoot him in two weeks. Yes, yes, yes Mr. Mr. Regan. <coughs> you see what I mean? In breathing, you must remember the diaphragm. Very important. Like this. <coughs> Why, uh, I thought I knew how to breathe. I've been doing it a long time, you know. Please. Now, once more for the diction. Uh, Chief, the duke blew on the hunting horn, and he laughed, ha, ha, when the hounds came running. Like that? Yes, exactly. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> the duke blew on the hunting horn, and laughed, ha, ha, when the hounds came running. Please, don't do as I say. Say as I do. A bit lower. 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 Yes. The Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when the hounds came running. Please. Not Duke. Duke. I said Duke. Not laugh. Laugh. I said laugh. Laugh. I want to hear those pear-shaped bowels. Pear-shaped. Which end of the pear? <gasps> the Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when the hounds came running. Did you blow on his hunting horn? Did you blow on his hunting horn? A little horn. higher, please. Did you blow on his hunting horn and laughed when the hounds came running? Did you blow on his hunting horn and laughed when ah! Mr. Rooney, please. <coughs> now look, I'm a quiet, peaceful kind of a fellow, and I'm willing to stand here all day and let you stick pins in me. But one more tickle, and I'm going to break off a leg and wrap it around your neck for a scarf. I'm sorry, but the coat must be perfect. Mm -hmm. The Duke blew on his hunting horn and laughed when I... Uh, would you mind pulling your coat down just a trifle? You pull it down. Uh, thank you. The Duke blew on his hunting horn <laughs> and laughed when the hounds came running. Mr. Rooney, if you don't mind, 
to distract you. If you flew on this hunting horn, and that pear shaped enough, you were just aggravating me. Oh, who's there? I'm just whipping up a batch of pear shaped bowels. When I look at that hairline, I could almost cry. Wait a minute. Just a minute. I want you to see this. Now, it'll help. You can take my word for it. This will help. Now, there. There, Robert Taylor. Now, look. I've heard all I want to hear about Robert Taylor. This pan of mine may not be anything to boast about, but I'm not going to wear a widow's peak. But I... Uh, I've worn this face of mine a long time. I've washed it, I've shaved it, I've sung with it, and more than once I've fallen on it. And if Regan doesn't like it, I'm going to take it right back where it came from. But I will not wear a widow's peak. Savvy? Oh, Academy Award. Eh? Yes, the uh, Academy Award. Oh, nice. But which picture did you win it? Well, we uh, haven't won it for a picture yet, but I thought it'd be nice to have it around to sort of get used to it. <laughs> One gets used to so much in Hollywood. Uh, Yes. Uh, never mind. Uh, Steffi, uh -huh. uh, did you see the rushes of Terry Rooney today? Oh, yes. I saw the rushes of him. He's all right, I suppose. But, uh, all right. But I am not interested in your baby stars. No? No, 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 no. For my leading man, I must have an actor. Uh, well, of course, Steffi, I know that you have the privilege of choosing your leading men for your pictures, but in this case, I think you're making a mistake. <laughs> But I am not running a school for acting. Uh, no, Steffi, you certainly are not. I demand a supporting cast at least worthy of my talent. Well, Steffi, we'll think about it. Uh, uh, goodbye, dear. Au revoir! Huh? Oh. The egotistical little mink coat. What does she think she's doing? Who does she think she is? Take a letter. Yes, sir. Miss Stephanie Hales, Gaylor Studio. Dear madam. Where's my... On the step rehearsing Terry Rooney. I gotta see. That sound ready? Already. All right. How about you, Terry? Have you got the lines or do you want to run through them again? I think I know them now. We can make a shot if you like. All right. Let's make a take. Come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Hurry up. Oh, now that's another right. Just... Remember, pear shape. Very shake. Come on, come on, let's go. Very important. Go away, let me alone. Come on. Please, go. Will you get this thing out of the way, please? Come on. Quiet, please. Roll them. Please. Action. Oh, Holly. Miss Emily was to be here at 8 o'clock, wasn't she? Blaine. Mr. Blaine. Ha! Oh, All right, relax, everybody. I saw the Russians this morning, and the boy's great. He's got it, Blake. <laughs> he certainly surprised me. But I don't want him to know it. The ball spoiled Stephanie Hales by telling her how good she was. I'll tell him he's no good. How can you expect me to get a performance out of him if I continually tell him he's no good? Well, you tell him it'll take five years to make an actor out of him. But don't let him see the Russians. And I'll fire anybody who tells him that he's good. If I'm as bad in this picture as they say I am, I'm going to do the sensational nose dive of the century. It makes Honorable Master very happy to joke with humble servants. It's no joke, Edo. At least the director doesn't think so. Yes, please. Honorable Master would like humble servant to bring dinner? No, no, thanks. I'm sick and tired of eating in this joint. Yes, please. You know, Edo, you're the only one around this studio who will even deign to talk to me. And all you can say is, yes, sir. Would you rather that I spoke ordinary English, sir? Is that you? Yes, sir. My former employers felt that the accent lacked a certain dignity. Now, look here. You're not going to stand there in all this heat and tell me this Japanese lingo is an act. Oh, very much so. Pull up a chair. Sit down. I want to hear about this. Tell me about yourself. I came here aspiring to be an actor. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't mold you, huh? They didn't even try. Well, tell me, how do you like being a gentleman's gentleman? Oh, very much. As an actor, it was a long time between meals. What are you doing for dinner? 
I know of a place on Hollywood Boulevard where they serve wonderful Wiener schnitzel. That's right. Can I come along? <laughs> it's rather embarrassing, but uh, there's a young lady that I have... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even mention this. Forgive me, will you? Well, uh, you're probably late for your date now. You'd better go on. Oh, well, thank you, please. Come on, now, will you? Stop kidding me, will you? Thank you. Thank will you, please. Will you go on? Go home? There's the topper and the payoff. A Japanese who speaks better English than I do with a weakness for Wiener Schnitzel. Oh, it's too much me in my weakened condition. Hello. I want to put in a person to person call to New York City. Yes, please. <laughs> Oh, hello, darling. How are you, Canary? Darling. How are you? Oh, lower than a whale's foot. Silly. A whale doesn't have feet. Did you ever see a whale's foot? Well, you'd be amazed. Hmm? Oh, it was funny when I first got in. I thought I could handle it, but... It's kind of getting under my skin now. Well, listen, let's not talk about that. I'll... Look, forget it. How are things with you? We've written a new song. You have? Come on, sweetheart, sing it to me. I don't care if it costs a million. Go on, shoot. Oh, wait a minute, darling. Wait till I get comfortable. Okay, darling. Go on, rend me asunder. Tell me a pop. Go on. Oh, Pop me money. Hurry. Ready? my heart. 
any more of this, and I'll cut my throat. I'm back home sick now. You please hang up. No, don't leave me anymore. You do. All right, boys. Boys on this camera. Now, listen to me just a minute. I want you to take this boom up as far as it'll go and give me a shot of the complete set. You got that? All right, take your boom up whenever you're ready. Yes, All the lights, they all set? All set, Mr. Blaine. Now listen, boys. Everybody, please. Hey, Rooney, don't play with the props, will you? Andy. Andy. Right. Never mind. Yes, come on, Blaine. Let's get to work. This is the last shot of the picture, and let's get it right. I don't want much of a fight here, but I do want it to be good. You understand? All right, everybody on your toes now. Oh, by the way, Terry, come here. Never staged a fight before, have you? No, never have. No fight, eh? No. Well, don't let it worry you. Perfectly simple. Mm -hmm. It's all a matter of camera angle. Now, you see, we'll get in an angle so that when he makes a pass at you, it'll be like this. But take it. Let your head go back with it. All right, let's do it again. Huh? All right. Ready? Yes. Here we go. That's it. Simple as that, huh? Simple as that. Well, uh, tell me, do those other boys know how to do it just as well as you do? Oh, yes. Don't worry about that. They've been doing it for years. That's right. <laughs> By the way, you're... Not afraid, I say. Oh, no, no. I don't care how hard they sock him. I didn't make a thing he has on. I hope somebody at last would knock a pear shaped vowel out of him. Yeah, I hope so. so. I haven't socked the greenhorn after in months. Get a load of this. I heard your remarks, son. Huh? You're not afraid of us, are you? Say, will you do that again? Perfectly. It's all right. Are you try one? Can you try it? Yeah. Close? That's fine. Right. Yeah, you'll do it. Good enough? Yeah, fair. Thanks. Thanks very much. Oh, too bad. Too bad, too bad. All right, come on, everybody. On your toes. Let's quiet down now. Make this thing, I think. Come here, boys. I want to explain this thing once more to you before we start the shoot. Now, Terry, on camera, you're coming down the stairway. You understand? Joe and Eddie are hiding back there. As you get oh, like you this. Something Joe, more? Jump that, just mm. then, uh, I just itch to take a poke at that chin. You should land, well, I should say about here. Right about there? Right about here. Oh, fine. Okay? Yeah. All right. Come on, let's make a take. Right. Camera's ready? Right. Sound ready? All right, quiet, please. Johnny, got your number? All right, come on. There. Take the place. That's it. That's fine. Thanks. Fine. Take the places now. On camera. Turn them over. Feet. Camera. Cut. Fine. Great. Cut my foot. Does it? Yeah, please. Hello. Hello, darling. 
Well, I'm through. Terry! Are you all right? No, sweet. Pop yourself on the first plane for San Francisco. I'll meet you at the airport. Oh, I'd love it! Well, well where are we going? Oh, well, I don't know where we're going, but we'll be far away from where to make motion pictures. All right. I love you, darling. Well, I'll be waiting. Bye bye, darling. Bye. City Hall for a license. Oh, sweet. Uh, I've got a confession to make. Well, if it's about another girl, I, I don't want to hear Oh, no, no, it isn't that. I've got to tell you that my name is not Terry Rooney. I'll break the real one to you very, very gently. It's, uh, it's McGillicuddy. What? McGillicuddy. McGillicuddy? Mm -hmm. uh, but that isn't the worst. The first name is Thaddeus. Mrs. Thaddeus McGillicuddy. Can you stand it? I've always wanted to be Mrs. Thaddeus McGillicuddy. And uh, where are the McGillicuddy's going on their honeymoon? In the South Seas, and we sail this afternoon. And what's more, we're going on a very exclusive, a very exclusive, tram steamer. Tram steamer? Mm -hmm. You're the only passenger. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Now listen, Blaine. I want that Terry Rooney picture ready for preview, and I want it immediately. Well, Mr. Rooney, we're doing all we can. We're working 24 hours a day. Well, work 25 hours a day if necessary. Now, when do I get the picture? I'll make it two. Rolling room. When will the Rooney picture be ready for preview? It'll take us at least two weeks, Mr. Regan. One. Anything to do with love. And if you should find a moon up in the sky and love on your mind, baby, don't you cry. Just say to me that I come your way. Hmm? Any old love today? Predicted that boy be a star the minute I saw him. Do you still want me to go on telling him he's no good? Uh, uh, by the way, Rooney ought to be here right now to sign his contract. Is Terry Rooney out there? He's not here. Well, find him. I'm waiting for him. Good. Good. I'm getting tired of saying good. Oh, hey, a terrible thing has happened. We can't find him. Terry Rooney. He's disappeared. He's gone. We can't find him. He's vanished. Oh, I see. <laughs> and you're all afraid to tell Regan. Well, now, don't quarrel, boy. Let me tell him. Disappeared. 
I hope the poor boy didn't commit suicide. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we got some pretty rough treatment around here. I make a star out of him, and you call it rough treatment. Get on the telephone. Call his orchestra. Call New York. Hank, we've got to find that boy. First, I'll have the Harvard rag. Hank, Hank, please, stop. Hank, listen, dear old boy, dear old pal, I'm depending on you now more than I've ever depended on you before. Hire detectives. Do anything but find Rooney and bring him here before he knows he's a success. Now, hurry, hurry. Maybe best start with the more. Good. Good. Excellent. Good. Good. Hello. Finally. Hello. Good. Any news? Oh. Not a thing. Hours of working, waiting, wondering, and for what? Nothing. We're no nearer to finding Terry Rooney now than we were when we started. Why do I have to be crucified like this? Any news? Plenty of news. But it's all bad. Nothing but mystery. But I can't get the idea of suicide out of my mind. Torture me with that word once more and you're through with Gator Pictures. Oh, I'm just as anxious to find him as you are. He borrowed five bucks from me the other day in the lunchroom. <laughs> five bucks? Yeah. Five dollars. Yeah. And I am talking in millions. Five bucks means a lot to me on my salary. Hey, find him and I'll double your salary. Agreed. He's found. I mean, I'll find him. Just a minute. Is this some foul scheme of yours? Are you holding out on me? Oh, B.O. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> Terry Rooney, where are you? My Terry.
long walk so we can get our land ready. Good. Oh, yes, such lovely ideas, Teddy. Oh, Mrs. McGillicuddy, I strive to please. In fact, I strive to please Mr. McGillicuddy. Mm -hmm. How do you feel now? Oh, I feel much better. Like your man legs yet? Yes. Thanks, Both of them? <laughs> yes. Hey, is there something strange about me? See, people seem to be staring at me. What is it? Oh, it's because you're so beautiful, darling. Oh, you think that's it? Yes. Well, as I've said, <laughs> well, look what we have here. One of those movie palaces. You know that in places like these, people actually earn a living making faces? Really? Absolutely. No man will get it. For example, they do things like this, uh, a double take. And then there would be uh, a triple take, which would... Uh, <laughs> and there was a triple take with a slow burn with a one-eye fadeaway, which is this. And, uh, Do another one. Another one? Well, there was a Charlie Murray. Always did this. <laughs> now, you see what a motion picture career can do for you? That woman thinks I'm crazy. Come on, make some more faces. Not in your life. I'm through for the evening. Don't you want me? Is it my imagination or... Do I hear my voice? Well, there's nothing strange in that. You're talking to me. That isn't what I mean. I never expected from singing someplace. Oh, now, Terry. Well, take from you. Just take any old love from the picture. Oh, Mr. Terry Rooney. Please, you take it. This is a flower. Oh, thank you so much. Thank, oh, thank you. you. Thank you. It's coming from over there. Pictures of you plastered all over the place. Yes, darling. Things have been happening while we've been away. But you didn't tell me they made any records of it. Well, I didn't. They probably took them off the soundtrack. Darling, Mr. Rooney, your performance is lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Very fine performance, Mr. Rooney. Thank you. We're very very glad you're back again. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, please, Mr. Rooney, may I have your autograph? Yes, right. May I have the autograph, Mr. Rooney, please? Oh, thank you, Mr. Rooney. Mr. Rooney, good luck. Good Oh, hello, Hank. Where are you staying? Have 
talk to any reporters? No, I haven't talked to anybody. Nobody. Well, nobody but a crazy manager, if that means anything. Well, don't talk to them. No. Don't talk to anyone. No. Don't even talk to yourself. No. All right, but you ought to see what they did to my hat. B.O. and I are leaving right away by plane. Yeah, right away. Just as soon as we can get to the airport. Now, for the love of Mike, don't talk to anybody, will you? Hide in the closet till we get there. Here we come. Goodbye, kid. Come on, B.O. Yes. Let's get out of here. Come on. The contract. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for all the publicity I've been under. Gosh, Mr. Rooney, you don't realize. Well, I, I guess I'll make a like this, huh? Like this. Like this. Hey, Canary. You getting there? I Eating both of these. <laughs> oh, darling. I'm so proud of you. I don't know what to do. I think I married the celebrity and didn't even know it. Oh. It was nothing at all. <laughs> Anybody in my place would have done the same. And um, you're not having a slight attack of dry head, are you? Yes, darling, I'm afraid so. I've got that good old feeling coming over me now. You now owe me $139 million. Mm hmm. Me a bag of ten. <laughs> I'll settle for a box of candy. You said chewing gum and like it. I'll be hanged in the National Guard. Oh, oh, I have to fix my hands, you know. Yeah, you go on, get yourself fixed up. I won't say anything about you. You stay as surprised then. Fix the door, so that I can hear everything. All right. We'll have you in a different word. Who's there? Leave him. Step right this way, sir. Terry, my oh, boy. Hello. Hello. Hi, Terry. Hank, I'm glad to see you. Baby, when I say I'm glad to see you, I'm just beginning to talk. Say, Hank, I want you to forgive me for putting this slug on you last time I saw you, but you know. Forget that. I had it coming to me. Where you been? I've been running myself bold. I did looking for you. Hey, Terry, right. here's the contract, all ready for you to sign. Now, look, B.O., let's get our hellos a whip, have a little drink or something, and then we'll talk about the contract later. Well, right. while, you, while you're talking, you just take a look at that money. Oh. Better take a peek, Terry. Wait a minute. Hank, you read this? Every word of it. They're worth every penny. Do you know what the pictures run across the street? Yeah, they're well. Very wild. It's terrific. Wait a minute. Wow. I can't sign this. What's wrong? Just can't sign it. Why? Oh, uh, this, uh, this is Mrs. McGillicuddy. Uh, this is Hank. Nobody knows his last name anymore. And uh, this is Mr. Regan. How do you do? But why can't you sign the contract? The Regan herself. Well, what has Mrs. M McGillicuddy got to do with the contract? Of course, we don't know what arrangement you have with her, Terry, but this is a... Now, look, Paul Craig, you don't understand. Rita is my wife. My real name is Mia Gillicuddy, and it says in the contract that I must remain single. Your wife? But you can't. You just can't have a wife. But I have, and I'm going to keep her. Look at that thing, darling. That top drawer there. That's silly. Oh, well, darling, if this is for just one picture, we could go on keeping it a secret. One picture? It's for seven years. And look at the dough. Oh, well, I have an idea. For so much money, why couldn't we take less and still be married? <laughs> Hang on to yourself, sweetheart. Now listen, tell me, what is this all about anyway? Don't they have married people in Hollywood? Why a silly clause like that? Don't you understand? You're the potential heart interest of every woman in America. It's your stock in trade. Yeah, isn't that charming? You think I can handle it? Look, if you think I'm going to give up this gal for any movie contract, you are crazy. Now, it's over very nice, and I thank you. But we are going back where we belong, with the bank. Oh, that's very sweet of you, darling. But this is too important to decide like that. Why couldn't I go to Hollywood as just a visitor? As this is fatty as McGillicuddy. Oh, what a moniker. Fatty as McGillicuddy. We like it. Are you kidding, Terry? Oh, no, absolutely on the level. I'm sorry, Hank. But they did it to me when I was asleep. <laughs> well, I'm glad you woke up in time to change it. Well, couldn't no. I? Couldn't you? Uh... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I got it. Come here, B.O. Listen to this. Come here, Terry. Would you be willing to go down to Hollywood and go to work? I mean, uh, take a job, a color-up job? Why, certainly. That's swell. Now we've got nothing to worry about. Here's what you do. You come down to Hollywood as Terry's confidential secretary. Take care of all his personal affairs. Fan mail and all that stuff, huh? Hank, you do that? Of course, darling. I think it's marvelous. You're a genius. Sometimes. Sometimes I think I deserve more dough. All right, come on. Sometimes. Give me the contract. <laughs> yeah, 
Hi, Daisy. Hi, Mr. Hayes. Glad to see you. Well, morning. How's everything, Snooks? Don't Snooks me. What I ask you, what is that? What? Oh, that was the, the bungalow. Yes, I know, but who? Who? Well, I don't know. Wait a minute. Let me see. Now, don't stall with me. You know. Do I? It's Terry Rooney. Is it? You know darned well it is. Five rooms and three baths. What I ask you, is he going to do with three baths? He's now running a laundry, although he should be. Who lives here? Mrs. McGillicuddy. And this is her hideaway. You remember Mrs. McGillicuddy? Yes, I have a vague recollection. <laughs> and you come to see her. Oh, do I? Every night? No, not every night. The neighbors might talk. Who? The neighbors. The neighbors. Who mm. cares for the neighbors? That'll take care of her. <laughs> Look, why don't you get some lights on in here? Well, why don't you take off your glasses? Oh, I never thought of that. You look silly in them anyway. I suppose I gotta go on wearing these. Well, thank you. Good idea. I see. Oh, and here's the chair wheel. It leads up to two of the cutest bedrooms you ever saw. How many? Two. You can let out the other one. <laughs> so you think I should uh, carry him along, eh? Help build him up? Now, listen, darling. You come in with me on this, and I'll team you with Rooney for more publicity than you've seen in a year. Get this. Hollywood's newest love interest. You like it? Mm -hmm. Why, well, let's eat it up. <laughs> I'll do it. Good. For Gaylo. Good again, and I'll get started with the story. Leave it to me, honey. I'll show you some publicity. Just for All for me. me. All right. Cut, cut, cut. Steffi, darling, what is the matter? You're not giving me anything. Can I make a rough scene with a icicle? He doesn't give me anything. Nothing. Terry. Oh, I know. I know it's bad. Now, listen. I can give you the scene if you just get these people off the scene. Imagine that guy getting to have a medal. Doesn't take long for their heads to start swelling. That's not so. Oh, you too, eh? Listen, don't you go getting gaga over that guy. You're not in his class. He only goes for stars. Like Stephanie. Oh, is that so? Mm, yes, that's so. That was no temperament flame. Something upset me on the set. I think I can give you the scene now. All right, Trevor, but look. Warm up to Stephanie a little bit. She needs it. Oh, sure. Uh, Stephanie. Yes? Uh, please forgive me for blowing up. You see, you're such a very great actress. I'm, I'm actually no actor at all. I never even expected to be on the same set with you. See, that? I guess I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to say those things to me. You go through it once again, is it? <laughs> I will. All right, let's do it once again now. Come on. Action. But I can't give you up like this, darling. Oh, it's so difficult to see me as you are now. But I can't give up hope. It's all I have. Maybe someday you can fall and slip. Oh, no. No faraway place, darling. No faraway place. Here and now. Here and now. Mm. Don't you mean? Perfect! The boy has talent. Sorry, Gary, I had to do that to you. I had to. But the only reason I came on the set is because I haven't seen you for two or three days. Yeah, I know. But I couldn't play that love scene when I knew you were there standing watching me. I had an impulse to drop her and rush over to you. Same with you. Not Terry. 
Now, you're not going to try and get away from me, are you? But, no, but Won't I, do you I'm any good? All the doors are locked. Huh? Look in the window. The windows can take care of themselves. But... Be those too small. Hi, Perry. Oh, well, don't you ever knock, chump? Uh, I see you're rehearsing a little scene you told me about. It looks good, too. Mm. A critic, huh? Well, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> Thanks. It certainly does look good. Uh, I'd like to have you know Miss Brown. How do you do, Mr. Rooney? Oh, uh, how do you do, Miss Robin? How do you do? I'm, I'm very happy to meet you. Uh, you were just going over the fan mail situation. Oh, I thought it was rehearsing. <laughs> well, yes, but no, you see, uh, sometimes they uh, rehearse while they're running through the fan mail. Oh, uh, I see. Yeah, I'm glad you do. Miss McGillicuddy, will you run and see if the mail is ready to sign, please? Wait. Pardon me. Thanks. Uh, she's my confidential secretary. Very confidential, I expect. You'd be surprised. Very pretty, too. Yeah, we think so, don't we, Terry? Well, for a secretary. But then again, the average one of girls around here, very high standard of looks, you know. Uh, well, uh, if you'll excuse me, I'll, I'll run inside and get out of this collar before it cuts my throat. Well, right ahead. Take your time, Terry. Hey, wait a minute. What are you up to now? Just a little blind item for my column. Oh. What rising young star was caught making love to his pretty secretary? Now, listen. If you print that story, you're going to ruin two lives. What lives? Yours and mine. Oh. First of all, if you print it, I'm going to sock you on the nose. Oh. And if I sock you on the nose, I'm going to lose my job. So figure it out. But it's a story. Yeah? Well, there's a bigger story than that around here. If somebody was bright enough to spot it. What? Listen. Do you think Terry Rooney would be fooling around with a funny little secretary with a glamorous dame like Stephanie Hales here in the studio? Oh, Hans. Ah. You better sharpen your pencil. Very interesting. Now, there's one thing I'm sure all our readers will want to know. What is your ideal of feminine beauty? Well, I, uh... <laughs> well, that's a funny thing that you'd ask him a question like that. You know, Terry was saying to me only this morning that his idea of feminine beauty is Stephanie Hale. A little less, uh, statuesque than, uh, Venus de Milo, perhaps. More delicate, possibly. More flaming. Am I right, Terrence? Exactly my words. In fact, practically verbatim. How lovely. Now, Mr. Rooney, won't you tell me what was your first, your childhood love? Well, you mm. see what Terry was. Uh, yes. Oh, Hans, may I handle this one? Mm. Please. Well, my first, my childhood love, oh, that goes way back, way back. In fact, she was the dog catcher's daughter in my hometown. And every time my pooch was snatched... Your what? Or rather, every time they snatched my pooch, oh. she'd get it back to me by hook or by crook. In fact, it happened so often that her old man began to think my dog was quintuplet. <laughs> <laughs> One of the characteristic things about Terry is his love for animals. Yes, particularly dogs. Please, honorable master. Yes. Excuse me, humble servant. Oh, do you want me on the set? Such a pity. Well, I'm awfully sorry to break up this lunch in this way. Mm -hmm. Awfully pleasant. Well, it's been delightful. You'll come again, will you? Oh, yes, thank Please you so do. much. I've enjoyed it. And uh, anything you want, just call Ito. He's here. Oh, thank you. Hank, thanks so much. What a quaint servant. What's his name? Uh, Ito. Ito. Oh, he adores Terry. Why, when Terry disappeared, we had trouble restraining Ito from committing Charlie Terry, or, uh, Harry Carroll. <laughs> a nice interview, wasn't it? Did you, uh, get everything you wanted? Plenty. Any hugs, Steve? Hi, Terry boy, how are you feeling? Good. Here's your ticket. Tickets for what? Tickets for the opening at the Park Lane tonight. You're taking Stephanie. Oh, yes? I'm not going to any opening tonight. What do you mean, you're not going to any opening? I am not going to any opening tonight. I've been working for a week on this. The reporters, the photographers, they're all going to be there. It's important to me. Now, look, you could save yourself all that. I am not going to any opening. Oh, stand still and let me talk to you, will you, Terry? What do you want to act like this for? Wait a minute, what about Stephanie? You can take her and put her back in the woodwork. Oh, don't be so unreasonable. When I say a thing's important, it's important. Now, can't you stand now, still? Look, I've got a wife, and I like her. And I'm going to see her once in a while. Cut out that wife stuff, will you? I'm not going to any opening. Come here and listen to me, will you? What do you want to be such a bullhead? Billy, call Mr. Regan on the phone and tell him to go right over to Rooney's bungalow. Yes, sir. That boy's going nuts again. Get me Regan's office. Quick, certainly it's important. Now, Terry, why don't you mean it to me? You know what I do for you. Why, I work my head to the bone to put you on top. And I'd cut my arm off to, off to here to keep you there. Haven't you run around every night with Stephanie Hales to keep me on top, huh? Say, what am I, an actor or a stooge? I'm supposed to be an actor. Well, at least that's the rumor. Well, if I'm not good enough, I can always go back at the band. 
And something tells me I'd be a whole lot happier if I did. But, Terry, you've got a duty to the... I've got a duty to myself and my wife. And that fine, elaborate scheme that you cooked up for San Francisco isn't going to work either. It's got me and Rita absolutely insane. While I'm out to previews and openings and cocktail parties and, and, and testimonial dinners, go for the glory of dear old Gaylor, she sits up in the hills twiddling her thumb. She isn't yelling, is she? No, she's too good a sport for that. But I know how she feels, and I don't blame her. He's right, Gio. And of course he is. He's entirely unfair to Rita. I can see now the whole situation has been a terrific strain on him. Terry, will you let me do something for your commission more? Hank, get the drawing room to New York. Wire the office there and get a reservation to the best hotel and get tickets for every theater in town. Right. For Rita. Now, what kind of a solution is well, that? That's only half the plan. Terry, when you finish this picture, I'm going to give you four weeks' vacation to go to New York and be with Rita. That's great, B.O. There you are, Terry. That solves the problem. Wait a minute. Let me understand this. You promised me four weeks off after I finished this picture? Yes. Four weeks? Successively? Successively and positively. If you go to the opening tonight. That's great. Come on, Terry. That's quality, B.O. See what a grand time those two kids are going to have in those four weeks. What four weeks? Every time I put this vest on, I think of Regan. All front and no back. What time do you think you'll be home? Oh, I don't know, darling. You know how these things are. I may have to stay in town if I expect to be on the set at 9 in the morning. Do you have to go? Well, you know, practically a command performance. Darling, listen to me. This isn't going to work out, trying to do it this way. I know that. It's a dog's life for you, and I don't mind telling you that it's getting the best of me. It's driving me crazy. Look, darling, you've got an idea. How would you like to go eat and visit your mother and see the boys while I finish the picture? Uh, I could join you and say, oh, three or four weeks, and then we could go someplace together where nobody ever heard of the picture. All right, if you want me to. Now, wait. I didn't say I wanted you to. I just thought it might be a good idea. That's what I mean. Mm I'm not going. Oh, yes, you've got to go. I am not going. But you made a promise and you mustn't break your word. Yes, it is. Were you on the phone? Perfectly. Where'd you have one? No. Well, you don't like the idea of going east. Well, I, I really haven't given it much thought. You said you wanted me to go. I did not say I wanted you to go. Oh, I must have misunderstood. All I meant to say was that Regan promised if I went to the opening tonight, you could go east and I could possibly join you later. That's all. Well, then, by all means, go. What is the matter with us? Here we are standing here arguing like a couple of children over nothing at all. No, nothing. You've arranged for me to go east, that's all. And I'm going. I did not arrange for you to go eat. Oh, let's not talk about that again. Here, put on your coat and go to your opening. Oh. I have a lot of packing to do anyway, and you'd ought to be in the way if you stay. I probably would.
Rita, hello. How have you been? Where have you been? Oh, just a little trip to California. I see the boys are still here. Yes, they're still here. Why, I don't know. Look at this business. Do you mind if I go up and say hello to them? No, no, go right ahead. Rita, stop in my office and see me before you go. Thank you. You're taking it, aren't you? Go oh. on back and get your hellos over. Oh, thank you. Baby, when I heard that voice, I knew it was right away. Oh, boy, your mother has Is she coming back to sing with the band? I'm going to ask her to. Yes, I saw Terry in Hollywood. Everything is coming along beautifully for him, and he's coming east in about four weeks. Is there any truth to the stories in the paper about him and that hair thing? Just a lot of press agent drool. Are you sure? Well, I know the press agent. Boy, I'm sure glad to hear that. We were all beginning to get worried, weren't yeah. we, fellas? Yeah, we thought, well, you know what he said when he left the, when he left the band about, uh, about you being on the West Coast and everything? Stop kicking me, will you? Well, I guess I'd better go in and get the piano and warmed up. I think it isn't going to be easy, you know. But you must. I can't stand the idea of hurting you. We've reached the point where you and I are the only things that matter. Cook! Right. Well, one second. Can that fair play a love scene? Why not? Oh, you're a true. Where are Terry, I'm proud of you. Those pear-shaped bowls were perfect. Bless your heart, children. I can kiss you both. Don't you kiss me. I'll let Betty do it. Oh, what gladness. <laughs> I think you are wonderful. No doubt about it. Come on, let's go in and say hello to Terry. Hello, Mr. Rooney. Hello. Mm -hmm. Amy, darling. Hello, Jeffy. That last scene was a knockout. Mm -hmm. You like it, eh? Terry, you know the drivers, of course. Yes, yeah, sure. We're booked for an interview Sunday. Sunday? Oh, yes, that's right. Sunday it is. We'll have a good long gap, because this time I'm very happy to see you. Ah, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go change my tie. Miss Robbins, wouldn't you like to sit down? How's the play coming? Excuse me, Mr. Blaine. I'm going to steal Amy from you. Oh, yes, of course. Amy, will you come with me while I fix my makeup? You have an interview with me today. I have something most exciting to tell you. Why, Terry? <laughs> something about Terry and me. <laughs> Band. Oh, I guess we missed it. Miss Terry, too, of course, but Terry, <laughs> you can kiss him goodbye. He's cooked. What do you mean? Haven't you seen the paper? No. What's the matter, Terry? 
Stephanie A.F. reveals engagement to Rooney. Sensational dancing star and exotic actress plan to make their real romance real when their current picture ends. Shh. Except there's something terrible that happens. This is just more silly stuff. Doesn't look like silly stuff there. Don't be ridiculous. Besides, it's impossible for him to be engaged to Stephanie. Why is it impossible? Why? Because the... Well, we hadn't intended to tell him until he came east, but... We're married. Married? Why didn't you tell us? We thought you were working out there. Hey, wait a minute. How can they fret about him being engaged to her when all the time he's married to you? That's what I've been trying to tell you. Well, then. How do you feel? Give me this. All right, take your places, girls, please. Come on. Oh, come on, girls, please. Blaine. Just a minute, Hank, please. I want to talk to you. All right, what is it? Relax, girl. What? Well, you certainly laid it on thick. I wish you could read that later. Now listen, nobody has got to carry with this yet. Nobody is going to get to him. I've got both doors guarded. Now well, that boy will kill me if he sees this story. Why should he kill you? As a publicity gag, it's all right. Yeah, but there's a lot more than you can see. You can take my word for that. Murder is the least you'll do to me. Where's Stephanie? I don't know. She's not working today. Yeah, I know that. Did you have to say where she's gone? No. Well, she's not home, and I've paged every beauty shop in Hollywood. Girls already in waiting? Oh, yes, please. Very nice, very nice. Oh, yeah. Very cute. Very cute. Oh, do you like it? Oh, Mr. Blaine. Huh? Is this the one I'm supposed to marry? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> My luck. Hi, kid. How goes it? All right. Well, what's your any press agent pick you up to now? No, no, you're wrong. I'm working on a high spiritual plane. Oh, Fred, boy. Yeah. You'll never know how hard I'm praying. Well, nice way. Well, what's doing? Who's murdering who today? Oh, nobody murdered anybody. Give me that. I'm doing a crossword puzzle in here. I'll get you another one. I ain't mad, Harry. Oh, what? I'm ready whenever you are. All right, Terry. My dear Terry, I uh, want to be the first to congratulate you. Uh, on what? On what? Get out of here. What is this? It's B.O.'s orders that you're not to be disturbed while you're working. And he ought to know better than that. Congratulations, Terry, my oh, boy. What is the matter with you? There's nothing the matter with me. It's an old superstition that an actor can't be congratulated until his picture is finished. Oh. You ought to know that. He's How are you, boy? He's out. Yeah, he's out cold. Well, take him outside and give him a little air. That's all he needs. I brought him for your scrapbook. You, you need to settle. Uh, wait a minute. So this is what you've been doing. You've been trying to keep this from me. I haven't tried to keep anything from you, Terry. Mm -hmm. My word of honor, I have nothing to do with this. No idea of publicity. My idea, nothing. Take my word for it, Terry. I had nothing to do with it. I am your friend. Let me explain the thing to you, will you? I have nothing to do with that, Terry. You gotta believe me, will you? Let me explain it to you. Now, will you go away? Where's Edo? 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 Follow Mr. Rooney to his bungalow and beg him to stay there till I come, will you? What a day and what a life! Mr. Hank! Mr. Hank! Miss Hales just drove up to a bungalow. Miss Hales, that lets me out. Hold everything. I'll see you later, Daisy. You're excused. I don't know whether to kill you for that story or kiss you for showing up. How dare you? Oh, now, don't give me that how dare you stuff today, Steffi. You got me in a jam. Well, I only did what you told me to do and got Gaylor Studio a million dollars worth of publicity. I certainly didn't tell you to say you were engaged. Do you mean to tell me that he objects to being engaged to me for a few weeks? Object? He does nothing but object. I, Stefani, hey you, the great star, condescend to link my name with this uh, Hooper, and he objects, he objects. I won't speak to him again. I won't even finish the picture. Tell my public I am through. Oh, you're through, all right, unless you go with me to Terry Rooney's house and tell him you're responsible for this. You'll go off and have to drag it by the hair of the head. You can't talk to me like this. I never wanted to smack a woman, but I'm awful close to it right now. Well, go ahead and strike me, you woman striker. Oh, Steffi, I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I suppose I'll have to. The boy is married. But why don't you tell me things like this? Because we were trying to keep it a secret. Trying, it seems to me, you have succeeded. Now, you don't want to hurt Terry and his wife, do you? Well, I've been hurt so many, many times. I know what it is to be hurt. Mm. I will go. Mm. But please, please, don't go anywhere. 
Oh, darling, you're a haywire dame. But I love you. Come on, let's get out. I shall beat it, and I shall not come back. I bid you good day. <laughs> bid you good day. <laughs> oh, Grandpappy's packing up under the strain. I fear poor old Grandpappy is going to get out of the wire. Will, will you, will you will please you? call him? All right. If it'll make you fellas any happy. You think it was your husband instead of mine? Am I worried? No, I'm not worried, but you're... Hello. I want to put in a person-to-person -person call for Terry Rooney at the Gaylor Studios in Hollywood. Yes. You're going to see how ridiculous all this is. Imagine doubting Terry. I thought he was going to get us in his second picture. Oh, but Candy, it wasn't that kind of a picture. There wasn't a band in it. Every picture's got a band in it. At least a fiddle. No. Oh, well then, try Hollywood. One, two, five, two, one. That's our hideaway. It's the cutest little cow. Hello? Hello. Is Mr. Terry Rooney there? Who is he speaking? This is a friend of his. Hello? What's the matter, Rita? You win. It's Stephanie Hales at the house. Gee, I'm sorry, Chicken. Don't be. I can't stand people being sorry for me. At our hideaway. He took her to our house. Our house. Like the old saying, as you sow. So what? I'll get it. Hello, Mr. Richard. Well, how are you, boy? Would you really like to know? Yes, and how's the little lady? Oh, it's well. She's well, fine. Oh, is there anything? Well, hello there. I'm glad to see you. We finally got the break at last. It's on the front page of every newspaper in town that Mrs. Terry Rooney is singing at the Palomino Roof. How did you know I was Mrs. Terry Rooney? Well, I overheard you telling the boys on the st and uh, while I was standing in a bar, and a newspaper man. A friend of mine uh, overheard me mention it. Well, Mrs. Terry Rooney is not singing at the Palomino Roof. Oh, now listen, girlie. And don't call me girlie. If you think you can use us just because you overheard what I was telling the boys, you're wrong. Now listen. For one night only, just for tonight, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Every table has been reserved by telephone. We sold out before we opened. There'll be a riot if Mrs. Terry Rooney doesn't appear. Get out. Oh, now listen. She said out. And, brother, she don't mean in. Oh, so that's the way it is, huh? Well, now let me tell you fellas something. You get down there and get those instruments before they hit the ash can. Boys, you'd better go with him. You all right? right? Just sit tight, chicken. Everything's right. going to be I'll in the be back right. I've got to get my... Mr. Rooney, may I congratulate you? I hope you'll have a lot of happiness. Something the matter? Is there anything I can do for you? No, thank you. I can't think of anything that would help. Oh. Well, do you still want us? Do, do I still want... It'll cost you 2,000 bucks for the night, and we knock off at 12.30. Oh, listen to reason. Give us a quick yes or no. Yes. And in advance. Boys, you can trust me. And yeah, in advance. Okay, Maurice. Maurice, uh, hurry up. Set those waiters for you. Get some more tables. Wow. Let's see, you want eight uppers, eight lowers, and a compartment, right? No compartment. I'll do the lower. 
All right, go on, Bill. Get ready. Ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I take great pleasure in personally introducing to you Mrs. Terry Rooney. We all are. We're getting out of here. Where's Rita? She's on, doing her number. Okay, go along with us. Wait a minute, Terry. I was in the fair. She's made up her mind. Made up her mind to what? About getting out of here. Hello. You go in there and tell the boy to stop my music. I can't do that, Terry. She's so... Get in there and tell the boy to stop my music. Come on. Get into your cage. 